with us, not against us, as we all strive to fulfill our ultimate mission, which is to protect and provide healing to the patient's essential mass. We think that by starting this type of petition, we might have a chance for some change to improve care for the patients and also to protect ourselves and our nurses. We've had multiple nurses injured recently. A few of them actually had to be out of work. And we don't feel that we're supported. We don't feel we have a safe enough environment to protect ourselves and our patients. Our high risk with your labor and delivery unit continues to be chronically understaffed and the emergency department nurses are burned out and fed up with the lack of staffing needed to care for their patients. We have come to implore Dr. Dixon to right the ship in a manner consistent with the Hippocratic Oath. Do no harm. Do, no, do not let patient safety and quality care be a casualty on the road to solvency. In all that time as a nurse, though, I've never once encountered the kind of slash and burn, burn management tactics that UMass Memorial Healthcare has chosen to implement at Malibu. What does such a slash burn tactic look like inside of a hospital? It looks like one RN caring for three patients at a time in the ICU, or one RN simultaneously caring for six, seven, or even eight patients on a med surge floor. It looks like a patient being at 14 to 31 percent more likely to suffer an injury or die as a result. It looks like an emergency department where cuts to RN staffing result in longer waits for care, an increased chance that patients will be boarded in the ED rather than moving to the medical floor. And it looks like a management team that is willing to implement all of these misguided plans, even at a time when their hospital has the second worst record in the state for regretful readmission. Those are the conditions that currently threaten all those patients, and that is the environment that we, the nurses, are forced to practice in. Over the last several weeks, the MA nurses at Lemonster have been trying to negotiate with management over a series of proposed changes that we know will negatively affect our patients. These proposals include cuts to nursing and support staff that will impact every area of the uh, hospital, a reduction of staff in the emergency department that is painfully similar to the one just mentioned uh, by my colleague, patients a nurse cares for on the med surge and telemetry floors, staff reductions in the pediatric and maternity units, and an actual consolidation of baby and maternity units as well, which is a questionable change that has yet to be attempted anywhere else in the Commonwealth. As registered nurses, we provide 90% of the clinical care our patients receive in the hospitals. We are the nurses who bear witness to the suffering of our patients, needless suffering caused by administrative neglect and the callous focus on the bottom line of the patient care. Through our union, we have held dozens of meetings with local management to voice our concerns over these dangerous conditions. Our nurses have filed hundreds of official reports of unsafe staffing that jeopardize the safety of our patients. As you have heard, we have signed and delivered petitions, taken no confidence votes, yet nothing is done to protect our patients. As we finish here today, we will now hand deliver a letter on behalf of all the nurses in the UMass Health Alliance system to Dr. Eric Dixon with an urgent call for immediate action to address this crisis.